This is Dr. Tuckman. I'm going to be presenting a metacarpal phalangeal joint arthroscopic synovectomy. The patient is a 54-year-old woman who has had recurrent pain and swelling in her second metacarpal phalangeal joint for approximately two years. She's been seeing a rheumatologist. Her rheumatologic workup has been negative. She was indicated for an arthroscopy and synovial biopsy. Procedures performed under local anesthetic and some light sedation. The joint is injected with saline. Incision is made by pulling up the skin. This prevents injury to the sagittal bands. Blunt dissection is taken down to the joint. Cannula for the Arthrex nanoscope is inserted. This is a two millimeter zero degree scope. Scope is inserted. 10 cc syringe with saline is used for inflow. Because of the very short distance between the skin and the joint, uh, when the scope is first uh, placed into the joint with the lights on in the OR, the uh, synovin can appear very red. Uh, if the lights are turned off, the color uh, returns to a more normal appearing color. There's some debris in the joint. There does not appear to be significant amount of exuberant synovium. 22 gauge needle is then used to mark the location of the working portal. Appropriate position is confirmed in the joint. Skin is incised. Blunt trocar is then used to penetrate the joint. Small biter is used for the synovial biopsy. Biopsies are taken from multiple areas of the joint using the biter. These are then sent for pathology. Two millimeter small joint shaver is then used to perform a complete synovectomy. Some exuberant synovium can be visualized over the dorsal aspect of the joint. This was removed using the shaver. Care is taken not to penetrate the capsule. As the synovium is removed, the collateral ligament can be appreciated. The portals are then switched and the remainder of the synovectomy is then completed. Joint is inspected, confirming complete synovectomy. Portals were closed with steri strips. A soft dressing was applied. Post update two, the dressing was removed, began full active and passive range of motion exercises. At one week post op, patient regained all of her range of motion and was very comfortable. Thank you for watching this video. I encourage you to leave comments and let me know what you think.